We've been focusing together on praying biblically at a deep level, praying biblically the Old Testament, praying biblically the New Testament. And one of the key emphases of both Pope Francis and Pope Benedict have been a challenge to every Catholic in every vocation around the world to daily be involved in Lectio Divina. Now, what is Lectio Divina? Lectio Divina, very simply, is praying with our minds, hearts, and imaginations and souls the sacred scriptures. And it's so beautiful to realize that the sacred scriptures are divinely inspired and that the Holy Spirit is drenched and on fire in all the texts and words of the sacred scriptures. And when we allow our minds, hearts, and souls and imaginations to be daily engaged with the sacred scriptures, then our lives are set on fire, enriched, and directed by the Holy Spirit at a whole new level. We also are able to pray the Mass, to pray our rosaries at a deep level since they are so focused on the sacred scriptures. So let's take a look for a moment on some real basic fundamental teaching on Lectio Divina. There is in the book of Samuel that beautiful story of the boy Samuel suddenly audibly hearing the voice and call of God. And there is this elderly wisdom figure, a priest named Eli, who coaches Samuel on how to respond to the call of God. And he has co coaches all of us in a certain sense. And this is what he says to uh, Samuel. Samuel, say to the Lord these words. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. This is a beautiful way to begin our prayers. This is a beautiful way to open ourselves to the Lectio Divina and the work of the Holy Spirit as we pray the sacred scriptures. Cardinal Michael Collins from Toronto, who's done a lot of work on Lectio Divina, says that very, we know those, that beautiful phrase, speak, Lord, your servant listening. The difficulty sometimes, according to Cardinal Collins, which we can all resonate with, is many times we begin our prayers with, instead of speak, Lord, your servant is listening, listen, Lord, your servant is speaking. So I think that there's a great insight as we kind of laugh and, and resonate with that, that in a certain sense, we need to allow the Holy Spirit to turn us towards Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. That beautiful sense of proactive obedience, resonance to the power of the Word of God. In the Word of the Lord, Pope Benedict tells us about the different dimensions of Lexio Divina. We read the sacred scriptures, and so look at them very analytically and use our minds to make connections about different parts of the sacred scriptures. We meditate on the sacred scriptures. We allow the, the sacred scriptures to form our minds, our hearts, our souls. We pray the sacred scriptures. We allow the Holy Spirit, in a certain sense, in that Pauline phrase, to Pauline phrase, to groan within us as we pray the sacred scriptures. We contemplate the sacred scriptures, how important that silence is as we allow the Holy, the Holy Spirit to lead the teaching of our Lord in the sacred scriptures to go deeper than a surface level, to really penetrate every dimension of our being. And then finally, we're called to act on the sacred scriptures, to live the sacred scriptures. I like in the 17th century French school of spirituality, Jean-Jacques Ollier had a beautiful, very simple and understandable method for Lectio Divina, praying the sacred scriptures. He thought of Christ in my mind, Christ in my heart, Christ in my hand. Christ in my mind, 
How is, for instance, the parable of the Good Samaritan, which we've heard so many times, and yet which is ever new, hitting us at a particular moment in, of our life, at a particular crossroads of life, how is it forming our minds? How is it forming our consciences? How is it forming our decisions with the mind of Christ? Christ in my heart. How is the parable of the prodigal son or the parable of the merciful father? How is it forming my heart with the heart of divine mercy of our Lord? How is it forming our heart with humility and repentance at the same time fortitude, boldness, and strength, that those qualities of the heart of Christ. Christ in my hands, how is a beautiful image or phrase from our Lord, how is it forming our daily actions in a very concrete way in terms of uh, the relationship between a husband and wife, the relationship with our colleagues at work, so let's open ourselves to this great challenge from our Holy Fathers to daily being immersed in the sacred scriptures, to opening our lives to this enriching and fiery experience of intimacy of Lexio Divina.